name is Chad Knudsen. I'm from Anacortes, Washington, I'm currently living in California, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about my proposal, 3D printing hempcrete, that people will know what they want when they see it. In a nutshell, the aim of this proposal is to prove and demonstrate the feasibility of 3D printing in hempcrete as a sustainable alternative to traditional construction methods. This proposal addresses three key problems. The first problem being that the modern construction industry accounts for over 40% of worldwide CO2 emissions today. 7-8% to of worldwide CO2 emissions come from concrete sector alone. Problem number two, infrastructure. So what's your first reaction when you look at this bridge? Well, it, it needs to be replaced. How bad? Soon. It's close to 50 years old, and as you can see, the concrete is crumbling. Our infrastructure is built out of concrete, which inevitably crumbles every 20 to 50 years, which needs to be replaced and rebuilt which is incredibly expensive and time intensive, not to mention really frustrating for all of us that get stuck on the freeway during construction hours in the middle of the day. The third problem is that traditional construction methods that we're used to are often very wasteful processes. There's extra boards that are cut off at the end and tossed in a pile, nails that get bent over sideways, pieces of drywall that don't fit in right. A lot of this waste could be mitigated by utilizing additive manufacturing and alternative materials. What I'm proposing with this project is that we build a full-size, livable, next-generation house utilizing these alternative materials and new construction methods. We would then use new and social media and video marketing to get this message out in front of as many people as possible. Fortunately, my fiancé and I own Brainship Media, which is geared for doing specifically that. Our buildings could be virtually waste-free by utilizing an algorithm that only applies material along stress lines, thereby reducing the amount of material needed while maintaining the structural integrity. Eventually, hemp plastics could replace hempcrete in the frame, but for now, we're going to stick with hempcrete to keep this project simple. There are many benefits to this proposal, and I'll name a few. First off, it works with nature as opposed to against it. Not only is the hemp incredibly beneficial to the ground that it grows in, but its use as a building material will absorb more carbon than it produces during its manufacturing process. This method could make building houses more affordable and more accessible to more people, addressing the issues with homelessness and the lack of people with adequate shelter around the world. It makes building easier, opening up the creative doors for builders who otherwise would not have been in a position to build a real structure for themselves. Not to mention the tremendous amount of money we could save if we were not consistently repairing all of our infrastructure. I've estimated a timeline of 12 to 18 months if we were to raise about $50,000 for this project. With $100,000, I believe we could pull it off in 6 to 10 months. The funds would be used as expected to acquire the materials, hemp and lime that are needed, and also to pay some key personnel and acquire some equipment that we may need and do not have already. So far I've developed the concept and worked steadily to develop the mastermind group that we're going to need to bring this project into reality. I've built a vast network of hemp professionals and experts in various fields. Thanks in part to Ryan Laughlin of Rocky Mountain Hemp, Edgar Hamm of GrowHempColorado.com, and Andrea Herman of Hemp Technologies. The main hurdle for this project is, of course, money. But I'm working on fleshing out the business plan currently to illustrate how the commercialization of this technology can not only reduce global emissions, but create a sustainable and profitable business as well. I'd really like to thank MIT and the Climate Collab for providing this outstanding form for exchange. Also, I'd like to thank the judges for all of their support and guidance during this process and, of course, for your votes. And I'd like to thank the people at large for supporting this project. It's incredibly, incredibly humbling and exciting to see so many people behind this idea. So, onward and upward. Thank you very much.